Greetings my esteemed Laddingtons. This is my traditional birthday video. I am turning 33 millennia, so you can refer to me as the Venerable Ancient, for such is my knowledge and wisdom. So I thought to give an update on a few things and I thought to mention something that is related to birthdays and the like. So I can honestly say the following, that I do feel better now than I did at 23. I do feel healthier, more energy, I feel better in basically every way. Now you ask, how can this be? How can you feel more youthful when you are a decade older? or several millennia older in my case, since I am an immortal elf, but that's another topic. So basically, I will repeat myself. I have to repeat myself because certain things are so important that I need to mention it in different contexts. So you can ask me, how do I stay this healthy? How do I feel as youthful, as good in my mind and body, or even better, to be perfectly honest, I'm much, much sharper now than I was at uh, 23. Now, of course, the male brain isn't fully developed at 23, so that might have something to do with it. But overall, I do feel a lot sharper. So you ask, how is this possible? How can I feel this much better despite me being a decade older? It's to do with habits. I've said it before, I'll say it again, habits. And it takes quite a bit of time for you to develop these habits to find out which habits are good for you. Now, of course, I've made it my mission on this particular channel and you know, on other social media, including my podcast, to give some advice on how you can incorporate good habits in your life. So if you're looking for good advice from whomever, ask, okay, what sort of good habits can I implement in my everyday life? So I say to you, go to the gym, start meditating 10 minutes each day, uh, read every day. Those are good habits that will help you to be a better person, basically. So that is the advice you're looking for. Concrete, solid routines, habits that you can implement in your life. Then, of course, there are plenty of other um, you know, insights that can be interesting. But if you're looking at optimizing your health, always look at what sort of habits you can implement. Now, that being said, I have talked about many of these habits before. I will make more videos about them. I will show some and I will make some more tutorials on this fine channel. So two meditation tutorials are coming up and then I have another wild hunt challenge incoming, which has to do with, again, more habits pertaining to sleep and meditation and training and reading. So nothing out of the ordinary, but I know these videos are always appreciated. Now on to the plans for the coming months. So I do have, as you all know, hopefully, I do have the greatest podcast where I do deep dives into various topics and I will continue with that podcast. Of course, I will. It's um, one of my finest works, uh, I have been told. So I appreciate that very much indeed. And I will actually do the following. I will start a second podcast and those episodes will be posted for the public on YouTube and Odyssey and on a few audio platforms as well. I will update you all uh, when it happens, where you can find them. So those episodes will basically be me having conversations with others. Because there is something to keep in mind that making a podcast episode of me you know, doing a deep dive into a particular topic, it takes a lot of time and effort. So those I will keep separate from the conversations, which are, you know, a conversation is always easy to have. It's always easy to make, um, you know, an interview with someone. So that particular podcast, which I have yet to name, I will see illuminating conversations, perhaps it will be called, I don't know yet, I will meditate upon it. So the point is that I interview people for my own curiosity's sake, and then of course I share it with you, my esteemed supporters. So that is the plan for that podcast. So yeah, more content, basically more content for for you, my loyal supporters. Then I will probably not write as many book reviews during the autumn, because I will use the momentum I've built up, as I mentioned in a recent video, that you build up a momentum that you um, that you can use for uh, for good things. So the momentum I've built with the book reviews, I will use that momentum to write my second book, which will be out next year, and it will be absolutely mandatory reading, just as Dauntless is. 
So, fewer book reviews, but more videos and audio, at least. So that is something you can hopefully look forward to. And yeah, as I said, I have a good few videos planned for this channel, in addition to the interviews. And I also have, and I do have a few interesting guests lined up, so that will be nice for me to present to you. Now, on a last note, if you have been following my work for the last two years, I have mentioned a few times that there will come a time where I will make a move, so to speak. First, I said that would be when I'm around 60, but due to the encouragement of a good and trusted friend, I have decreased the time span, so I'll be 50 when that move will be made, so I will set the pace even higher. So yeah, that is an update in regard to that. If you know, you know. If you don't, then I suggest you listen to podcast episode The Greatest Glory and great strategy and you will know my my plans so that all being said i wish to thank you all for your continued support it truly means the world to me and i look forward to setting an even higher pace come autumn thank you for your support and thank you for watching xoxo boom